In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an animated profile picture GIF. But before we get into it, if you're new here, my name is Larissa Nian, aka La to the -E -S -S -A, and this is a place on the internet where I help fellow real estate brothers and sisters keep it real estate so you can become that real estate agent. Now to preface this video, you will indeed need Canva Pro as we will be using some premium tools. Now first things first, go ahead and click on the Instagram post or just go to social media, but essentially it doesn't matter what kind of doc type you use. It's really all the same exporting kind of format. But that said, I just choose this kind of square doc type because I want to create a circle image. So I'm going to go in and hit elements over here and I'm going to scroll down to the frames here and I'm going to choose this circle one. Next, I'm just going to make this fit the whole page here and then I'm going to give this a fill. So click on the frame itself, click up here and you can choose a flat image or you can put in a gradient. So if you click the add new color here, you can choose a solid color to gradient. You can add up to 10 different colors, I believe. And then you can choose the direction of the gradient. But in this case, I have already created gradients in my brand kit here. So I'm gonna go with this one. Next, I'm going to just duplicate this page here and actually give this gradient a different color. I'm gonna do this gradient and I'm gonna actually lock down this frame here because if we don't, it'll be a little bit of an issue. Just trust me on that. So I'm going to actually duplicate the second page two more times. Now, the reason why I have a different gradient here is because this is gonna be our profile picture page. And I just like the look of this gradient here instead. Now I'm actually going to just create another blank page. I'm gonna go into my brand kit here and just pull a regular photo of myself. Next, I'm gonna go in and hit edit image, remove the background. And then I'm gonna go into shapes, no, shadows, my bad. And then give this a bit of a drop shadow. You can also adjust the values here to choose how you like it, the intensity of the shadow, if you will. This looks pretty sufficient to me. So I'm actually going to select this image. I'm going to copy it, Command or Control C, go into page number one, and I actually need another frame on top of this frame here. So I'm gonna grab this another circle element and I'm going to just make sure it takes up the whole page directly on top of the first frame there. I'm gonna go into positions and then go into layers just to make things easy. Again, make sure you're selected on either one of these pages, ideally the first frame. And then if you command or control V, it will paste on that image we copied from the fifth page here. And once you click on this image, click on the image and shift it into that first frame. And then you can double click to just adjust this accordingly and boom, there you have your first image. So I'm actually going to delete this here. Now for the rest of the pages, you can choose as many pages as you want. You could just be the first page and then the second page could be your logo and it could just rotate ping pong back and forth between all the two. But in this case, I have three extra pages because I have three different entities that I like to represent. So the first one is gonna be myself. So I have my logo here in my brand kit. Up, scroll up. It is gonna be this one here. And the reason why we locked down the shape in the background is because if I didn't, if, if I just put the logo on here and tried to readjust it, it would go into that frame. And that's just gonna be a little bit of a hassle. So trust me on that. I'm just going to adjust this accordingly. And you can also go in to edit image and put in a shadow just to give it a bit of a 3D look. You can choose the distance as well something like that there you go and nope we should be good next i'm going to put in my real estate brokerage company exp and just situate it like that now here's a cool trick if you liked the shadow of this specific image what you can do is click on the logo go up to copy style go to the page and then we are still selected we still have that copy style tool selected so if you click on the logo here it will apply that shadow effect there with the same values so that's a that's a canva hack for you 
Next, I'm going to go in and put in my other logo here, which is going to be for the Wolfpack, which is the revenue sharing team that I'm part of here at EXP Realty. If you know, you know. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. Again, I'm going to do that same trick. I'm going to click on that logo, go up to copy style here, click on the next page and just click the logo. So that same shadow is applied. Now here is where things get fun and make sure you watch very closely because this is how we are going to create this looping effect of a gift. So next thing, what we want to do is actually duplicate this first page here. So I'm just going to command D or control D, that's a shortcut and click and drag that. So it's at the last, last page, just like that. Then we want to hover our mouse in between the slides. Ooh. Add transition. And then you can choose whatever transition you would like from page to page. I usually like the dissolve one or the other one. This is the circle wipe is that one's pretty cool. But I'm just going to go with the dissolve. And then once we have that, we can go and hit that apply between all pages. You can also increase the seconds so it can be a smoother transition if you'd like. So I'm going to pull it up to one second and apply between all pages to see how we like it. Now that we've chosen a duration, we can then change the page duration if that makes sense so again if we go up to positions and click on the background and then up here you'll see edit timing we can click on that and actually reduce it down the timing or duration of each page so this is up to preference as to how long or how fast you want the transitions between each page to be typically i like anything between two to three seconds which also depends on how long your transition is between each page as well so all variables that you'll have to play around with to choose your style. I think I'm going to go perhaps with two and hit apply to all five pages. And then now it says 10 seconds up here. So if we get this a playback, we can see how fast this is going to go. So this is a one second transition speed. And then each page is two seconds long. So that looks pretty sufficient to me. Again, play around with the page transitions up here and then edit the timing of the transitions based on this here. So once we have that complete, it's going to be a looping GIF because we have both our profile images at the beginning and the end. So at this point, we are set to go ahead and export this. So go up to the share button, then click download and go from the file type from mp4 to the gif down here now because this doc type is a 1080 by 1080 image it's going to be actually quite big so what i recommend you to do is to actually pull this down to a smaller image size that way you are then able to use your gif on certain platforms because sometimes when the file size is too big it won't let you use that so this is what i like to do is either just create a a big media piece and then a small media piece for my GIF images just so that I have both of them at my disposal. So I'm just going to make sure that I have this pulled down. Next up, we're going to hit this transparent background, which is a new feature that Canva has implemented into the platform, which is something that I have been waiting so long for. So long, you have no idea. Now we can create GIFs with transparent backgrounds. I just, I just want to cry at this point but i'm not so make sure you go ahead and click on that again that is a pro element so that's why you need Canva for pro okay so once that's done we want to make sure that all pages are selected which they are and then go ahead and just hit download and this should be relatively fast because the file shouldn't be that big but i will come back and show you what it looks like when it is done exporting okay the gif is done exporting let me go ahead and open this up. Let me scooch over here and let me pull in this GIF. So if I click on this file piece and hit the space bar on my computer, it will open up this GIF. Um, just as, as a disclaimer, I am a Mac Apple user, so that's how I can open it. But as you can see, this is what that GIF looks like. And I believe this GIF is about eight megabytes. So if I can open up the info here, you can see that that's the size about eight and a half megabytes which isn't too too bad but there you go now in this case let me give you some ideas as to how you can use this 
profile logo animating kind of gif so in this case i would use it on my canva website so let me go ahead and scooch back to this page here and open up this tab now this is a canva website template that i sell on my etsy shop for real estate agents so give it a looky loo but in this case what i would do is actually use the gif logo on my footer or sorry my <laughs> logo header here in this case i am just going to duplicate this page here delete these logos i'm going to make sure this page is hidden so I can show you what this would look like. Then I'm going to go into uploads and just pull in that logo we just uh, created. So let me go ahead and upload the image there. It's on my desktop. There we go. And give it a second to upload. And essentially what I'm going to do is just put it directly in the center. And the nice thing about this specific profile logo is that it has all of your logos so if you are a real estate agent that has multiple logos because you have a personal logo and then a brokerage logo this is a great way to consolidate that all into one without having to have so many logos in so many areas so it just consolidates it all into one place which i think is really unique and really snazzy and will make you that real estate agent so give it a second and then i will be right back all right once you have your gif uploaded go ahead and click on the page here and then i'm going to click directly on the logo and then it will just situate it right in the center for you nice and easy if i go up to the preview tab up here we can see what this website will look like in action so i'm just going to open this up scroll down and then ideally that's what that would look like you have your rotating gif and then your website that looks like this another area that i personally would use this kind of logo profile gif would be on my link tree so in this case i use this as my profile image some platforms allow you to put gifs in instead of just having your static image so link tree is a place for that also i use this on my email signature so this is what that would look like again it's a rotating gif just like that and then another place that i use my logo gif is actually on my flowdesk account for my emails so this is just the logo placement and again i'm able to use this gif as a logo so it's just it consolidates all of my logos all into one if you made it to the end of this video then you know what it is you know what to do yeah comment down below hashtag and crew so i know you are a real one and if you want to learn more about how to create your own real estate brand identity and logo with canva then check out this video right over here and if you're ready get ready to click in three two one